So this is the original Brilliant Wonders LED waterfall. And what we're gonna do is replace the LED strip that is in the front side of the waterfall. So one of the great things about this waterfall is you can replace the strip completely from the front. And right now, um, I don't have it installed on a pool. You can see I've got it installed in a little display, but you'll see everything I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do from the front side of the waterfall. And this is exactly how you would do it if you were repairing it inside of a pool. So let's get started. Um, the main tool you're really gonna need is just a small screwdriver, a little flathead. So if you look here, there is a little keyhole where you can insert the screwdriver and unlock this door to get access to the LED strip. However, it's not um, always necessary. The easiest way often to get to it is to just use your flathead and just pry this loose, kind of wiggle it loose, and you'll see it kind of come loose. And at that point, it's easy to remove the door. And the reason you can do that, if you look here, is you can see that there's like a little um, ramp on the door and it's ramped both directions where it locks down. So once you start to slide it up, um, it's just gonna pop loose, even if you don't actually press this piece in through the keyhole. So we're done with that for now. So let's go ahead and set it aside. So if you reach inside here, you can pull out the LED strip and this is the power cord and everything is gonna kind of slide loose. There should be plenty of slack the way it's supposed to be installed. And there's just a quick disconnect here. So we're gonna unscrew that. Right? And then it pulls apart. Okay, and you see the LEDs went off. So we don't need this end right now. We're gonna kind of scoot it out of the way. There is a little um, locking tab here for the strip. Just use your screwdriver again to kind of get in there and pop it loose. And then we're gonna set this piece aside as well. And now we can totally access the LED strip and it actually just slides right out. So you're gonna grab it and to start to pull, it should come loose. And as you pull it loose, we can just slide the old strip right out. And you're gonna to wanna to know this is coming out which way the LEDs are facing. They're always gonna face up that direction and that's how you're gonna to to put it back in. All right, so the next step is to add in our replacement strip. You can order those um, in any size from CMP. And inside of there, you're going to have uh, your new LED strip, number one. And then you're also going to have a um, little wire that you can use to chase it through wrapped up inside there. And with the wire, we're going to go ahead and use that. You can remove the door on the other end in the exact same way as you did the first door. And then one, one end of the wire is kind of bent over so that you can um, hook it onto the strip. So take your other end and just feed it through all the way to the other side. Should be really easy to slide it through there and you should have extra to work with once you've got it through get the end of your new led strip and you can hook the um, wire into the bottom of your new strip and then we're going to use this to actually um, pull it through so again make sure it's facing up and slide it through like this. When you slide it through, one of the most important things, and this is where we see a lot of breakage, is you don't wanna pull the LED strip this way towards yourself, because that starts to stress the LEDs and you can break it and it won't work. Um, you can bend it this direction, you can end, even bend it this direction up and down, but you never wanna do it side to side. So just go ahead and push it through and you can use that wire at the other end to pull it through. If it's a really long waterfall, obviously this is a short one, then you can get a partner on the other end to kind of pull on the cable with you in tandem while you push it through. But it should not be that difficult. If you have any trouble, then you can also add some lubricant to it 
just to help it slide through. But it should basically pop in like that and you can see we're done. So now all we have to do is wrap up. Let's take our locking tab and insert that back in. Let's take our two ends and this has like a little um, indentation so that it will line up correctly every time. You don't have to worry about it um, lining up the wrong way. Go ahead and tighten that back down. That is a waterproof connector. Tuck it back in again. Should have plenty of room. Slide it in. And then get a door back. You wanna put it so that this is on the outside. It only goes on one way. Place it and then press it in and you're done. New LED strip.